Another brick fan here with day 11 of the 2019 LEGO Advent Calendars. The current order in my opinion is Star Wars, then City, and then Harry Potter. Let's do a recap of the builds we've done so far. With Star Wars we have a Star Destroyer, Kylo Ren Shuttle, Stormtrooper, Laser Cannon, Poe Dameron's X-Wing, Rebel Troop Transport, Chewbacca, a terrain feature, Luke from The Last Jedi, and a quad jumper. From City, we have an ATV snowplow, a snow thrower, a snow sweeping guy, an ice castle, a wood chopping block with a log and an axe, a Christmas tree, a child wearing a propeller hat carrying a cookie, some Christmas gifts, a nice snowman build, and a photographer. For Harry Potter, we have Harry in his Christmas sweater, the Hogwarts Express, two snowy trees, a Christmas tree, Gryffindor banners, Professor McGonagall, a table with goblets, some food items, the Slytherin banners, and Ron in his, and Ron in his Christmas sweater. Let's get into today's build. Here is the Star Wars Advent Calendar, and we're looking at day 11, which is right here. And it looks like another terrain feature with perhaps a gun emplacement. It's really stuffed back in there. Let's get this built up. So here we have our terrain with what looks like a laser turret to me. Looks like it can be turned a little bit. Two independent lasers on either side. A good micro build, actually. I like how it kind of how it turned out. I think it looks decent and actually stands on itself uh, quite well. Kind of like the other terrain feature they did in day eight. So a good build for day 11. Let's move on to city. Here we have city and let's move into day 11 right here by our Husky. And it looks like <clears throat> some curling discs, perhaps. Some kind of game. Get these built really quickly. Here's the build for day 11, which look like curling discs, perhaps. Or a game where we slide these across the board and you see you look at the game at the box for the city set and you actually have a target here in the center and then moving over to the side there is a start what looks like a start line right here so now this snow sweeper makes a lot more sense perhaps he's a guy that is going to sweep for the curling Interestingly, these do slide just a little bit on the board, so it could be a little bit of a game to play. Something I would expect from the city sets is something to be more interactive, and this certainly is an appropriate build for the city set. Let's move on to Harry Potter. Here's our Harry Potter advent calendar. Let's go ahead and open up day 11. And inside, it looks like another table for the Hogwarts Great Hall. Here's our Harry Potter build for day 11. It's another table, so built exactly the same way as the day 5 table with the textured dark brown piece here, the 1x6 tiles for the benches, and then the 2x6 plate for the tabletop. In this case there's a little candle on a holder. I do like this candle piece, it's very nice. I think it was released in 2018 with the other Harry Potter sets. A very good looking candle build.
This adds more scenery for the overall theme of the Hogwarts Great Hall. So a good piece, but perhaps not one that stands well on its own. Let's go ahead and recap Day 11 builds. Here are the three builds for Day 11. For Star Wars, we had a terrain feature with it looks like a laser cannon, a gun and placement, the curling set for City, and the table with a candle for Harry Potter. Of these three, actually, I'm going to lean towards the curling set being my favorite just because of the interactability. It actually gives you something to play with, and the Advent Calendar box is designed to use this as kind of a play set, which fits right into the city theme. I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on these Day 11 builds. Hope to see you tomorrow for Day 12. Until then, happy building. If you like this video, hit that like button. And be sure and subscribe to see more of my content. If you've missed any of my daily Advent builds, take a look at my Advent Calendar playlist up here on the screen.